Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're uh, heading down to the barn here. We got thunder in the background. Today, the vet's coming to uh, do the herd health and um, preg checks. So, uh, we got to get the cows into the barn here and get them in the stanchions. Uh, that's where we're going to do the preg checks this year. Um, normally we run them through the corral, down the uh, chute and into the head gate. But uh, this year we're going to try, because we don't have many to do, we're just going to get them into the um, stanchions and do it that way. So anyway, he's going to be here in a little bit, so we'll get them uh, caught and uh, put in the stanchions and then we'll be ready for them. So that's what we're doing today, guys. Stay tuned. She would be in the four month range. Right. Okay. So would I put that under findings? Yeah, just put a big capital P and then put four months. Good, because she was going to get struck if she wasn't. Why, what, what was she? She never calved last year. Oh, or she... this year, I guess. This year. She looks a little... Uh, Trunky? She looks like she's been looking after herself. Do you prefer doing this on stanchions or? or um, doesn't matter. I mean, it's time-wise, it's probably more efficient because we're not waiting for another cow to yeah, come in, right? Yeah. Wasn't efficient this morning though. Yeah. They didn't like the new concrete. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did they find it a little rough on the feet? Or just not used to it? It was too shiny and clean, I guess. Oh, okay. Think. This will dirty it up. Uh -huh. Well, look at this. It wasn't yeah. like that this one. I would put this one in three months, or a good three months anyway.
over two months. How'd you line them up in order of how far along they are? You just know. Under loops. What's that? Yeah. Under loops. Got bred by accident. Well, she would have been bred at four or five months old. Yeah. Did you have to help her? No, nope. unassisted. Well, and raised it too. I mean, he's not very big, but. And red back to me. About two and a half months. <laughs> wow. Well, she's a keeper, I guess, eh? Better keep her because in. She, when did she calve? She calved late. In June, she calved. So, yeah, so she puts the like, bread right back. In. Wow. Because we put her with the bull about a week after she calved, maybe a week. Yeah. She two and a half months with me. She bred by the middle of July. Very fertile. As you just seen, the uh, vet was just here and we got the preg checks done and the herd health. And he actually uh, drew a sample of blood, blood uh, from the one new buck goat that we got. Um, just to check him for, I forget what it was, but anyway, just a test that they do. And he kind of just checked out the goat goat herd um, did like a little herd health uh, um, check up on them so anyway um, all the cows are pregnant actually I'll grab the sheet we would have said it there you guys probably already heard it but I'll just show you the sheet here so tag number down the left and then how far along they are pregnant. So these six cows were the only six that, you know, we were kind of questioning. Um, and surprise, surprise, all of them turned out to be pregnant. So that is a super duper good thing. Um, even the yearling there that had her calf this year, um, even she's already bred back. She's the second one from the end down there, um, right there. Anyway, so that's good. She's already bred back. She's, I think, at two and a half months uh, bred. So she would have she would have bred back uh, about a month after she calved, which is really quick. So anyway, you guys can hear the rain coming down there now, and uh, so we're gonna set you guys up and release the bovine.
So that's going to do it for uh, this little video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. And now I got to try and run up to the house without getting soaked. But. She's definitely a little rainy now. This is why you should never put off what you can do now until five minutes from now. I should have came down earlier. Anyway, um, yeah, so once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And if uh, you guys want, hit that thumbs up button and leave us a comment. All right, guys, till next time. Ciao.